Hello, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Mikey's Automotive. Bienvenidos todos a Mikey's Automotive. Today we're going to learn about the Smart Key Remote Renew Adapters. Vamos a aprender sobre los adaptadores para renovar las llaves Smart Key y los controles. All right, you guys, so these come in sets of 12, and there's two sets out there of 12 each. In total, there's 24 adapters that you can buy. So estos adaptadores vienen en sets de 12, y hay dos sets allá que puedes comprar. En total, hay 24 adaptadores que puedes adaptar. Para renovar las llaves. So these are only for OEM circuit boards, you guys. Aftermarket remote smart keys will not work. Estos nomás son para llaves originales. Ok, las de después de marqueta no van a servir. Now it's really easy to use. It's plug and play. No soldering necessary. No ocupa soldar nada. Ya nomás se acomoda la placa de circuito. Se segura con los broches y ya está. Now we're going to go ahead and learn about the sets. Like I said, there's two sets of 24 each. So let's see what these support. Los adaptadores 1 a 12 soportan. Adapters 1 through 12 support BMW, Nissan, Chrysler, Buick, Volvo, Hyundai, Porsche, Audi, Land Rover, Maserati, and Honda. Adapters 13 through 24 support. Adaptadores 13 a 24 soportan. Honda, Nissan, Chrysler, Puget, Buick, Buick, Mazda. Okay. And these are all the adapters. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and purchase your adapters, you can purchase them at Key4.com. Si quieren comprar los adaptadores, los pueden comprar aquí en Key4.com. Now, we have a smart key right here. As you guys can see, there's an FCC ID. Pueden ver esta llave de smart aquí. Ya está usada, ya está laqueada. It's already locked, you guys. Once you program it to a vehicle, the chip locks it to that vehicle. El chip la se laquea a ese vehículo cuando ya está programada. All right, you guys, so we're going to go to special functions. Vamos a ir a funciones especiales. We're going to go to remote renew. Vamos a ir a renovar control o remoto. So we're going to go ahead and select Nissan because this is a Nissan Smart Key. Vamos a seleccionar Nissan porque es una llave Smart de Nissan. Now, every time you click on a key, it shows you if there's an available adapter for it. If there is, you can use the adapter. If there is no adapter for that key, you're going to have to use the cable and wires to renew that key. Okay, so you're going to have to solder at some point. Cada vez que seleccionas una llave del menú, te va a decir si hay un adaptador disponible o si ocupas usar el cable con alambrado para soldar. Unfortunadamente, no hay adaptador para todas las llaves smart. So en un punto de tu vida vas a tener que usar el cable con alambrado para renovar la llave smart. All right, guys. So this is our key that we need. It's a four button. Our FCC ID is the same. Pueden ver que, que el FCC es el mismo de nuestra llave. Los da dos opciones para renovar nuestra llave. So we have both options to renew our key right here, you guys. And we're going to choose the adapter today. Because we have the adapter and we don't need to use the wire. Okay. So, vamos a usar el adaptador hoy. No tenemos que usar el alambrado. Nomás tenemos como a la placa de circuito y asegurarla con los broches. So, we just go ahead. We get our circuit board. Go ahead and place it on the adapter. Secure it. Now, for the guys that don't have any adapters and they need to renew the key by soldering. There's a connection diagram, if available. Okay, we're gonna take a better look at it. We're gonna see where we need to solder on which wire. We have the black, red, yellow, and brown. Aquí pueden ver cuál cable vamos a soldar, el negro, rojo, amarillo, y café. Esta es la conexión diagrama. Cuando no hay conexión diagrama, vas a tener que usar el adaptador. All right, you guys, so as soon as you guys have your circuit board and your adapter, go ahead and press unlock, and it should start unlocking the chip. Okay, como podemos ver, ya tenemos nuestro placa de circuito en nuestro atador, y vamos a oprimir el botón que dice unlock, y pueden ver que aquí se deslaqueó, as you guys can see, we successfully unlocked the chip, the remote has been renewed. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and read the Nissan Smart Key just to make sure that we successfully unlocked it. Vamos a ver aquí si la deslaqueamos bien o no. 
Aquí como pueden ver, dice unlocked. As you guys can see, it says unlocked. We successfully unlocked it. We're going to do another key for a Dodge Jeep Chrysler Smart Key. Vamos a hacer otra llave de un Dodge Jeep Chrysler. Llave Smart. La vamos a leer para que miren que dice locked. So we're going to go ahead and read it so guys show you that this is a used key. Okay, so as you guys can see, it says already locked. Aquí pueden ver que dice que already locked. That means that it's locked. We have it in our adapter. We're going to press unlock. La tenemos en nuestros adaptadores. Vamos a primer unlock el botón. Y ya comienza a deslaquearlo. So you guys, can see, you guys can see. It's unlocking the smart key as we speak. And as you guys can see, it says unlocked successful. Now we're going to go ahead and read it. Vamos a leerla. Asegurarnos que ya la deslaqueamos otra vez. Aquí pueden ver que dice unlocked. As you guys can see, it says unlocked. And we have successfully unlocked the smart key. All right, guys. This website shows all the diagrams of all the smart keys we can unlock. Esta página de internet enseña todas las llaves smart que podemos laquear. Okay. So as you guys can see, it shows us the wire with the four colors. And then it shows us on the right hand side where each wire goes to on what pin of the chip aquí pueden ver el cable y el, a la mano derecha enseña que alambre va a cual pin del chip del transportador now you guys if we see this audi right here as you guys can see it shows a picture of the adapter and it also shows us a picture of the diagram on the right hand side that means we could do it both ways aquí pueden ver que los enseña un, una foto de un adaptador y el diagrama eso quiere decir que podemos hacerlos de dos maneras. Ok. Aquí pueden ver. Este es BMW. Y tiene la foto del diagrama. Y la foto del adaptador. So as you guys can see. We can do it both ways. For the BMW. It has a diagram. Of the soldering. And then it shows a picture of the adapter. So if you only have a picture. Of the diagram. And you don't have a picture of the adapter. That means that you can only solder it. So, si nomás enseño una foto del diagrama y no enseño una foto del adaptador, quiere decir que nomás podemos soldar. Alright, you guys. So, just take a look through it. Go through this, this uh, page right here. I'm going to put the link in the description below, like I said. Voy a poner el enlace de esta página abajo en la descripción. Para que miren ustedes. So, you guys can look through it. See what keys you can renew. Now, like I said, this is only original keys that you can renew. Aftermarket will not work. Okay, you will not be able to renew aftermarket keys. Ya ves, después de la marqueta, no vas a poder renovarlas. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification. Si les gustó este video, suscríbanse, pendan esa notificación. Hasta la próxima. Bye.